Welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. I'm Carolyn Sherlock, here with tips, reviews, and how-tos for your cruising adventure. The Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Boat Affair. Make 2018 a year filled with extraordinary experiences on the water. Boat Affair, a boutique boat and experience sharing company, invites you on a -a one-of-a-kind adventure. Visit BoatAffair.com today. Make sure to mention Boat Galley 18 to get a 5% exclusive discount. Slow down, slow down. Barefoot Gal has three Turkish evil eyes on her, plus a couple more on a keychain for the engine. We've gotten some questions about what they are and what they do. First of all, for anyone who hasn't ever seen one, it's a round blue circle with interior uh, circles of lighter blue and white. And despite the name, the eyes don't do evil. They're there to protect you and your stuff from evil. Bad luck, or as a woman I met in Turkey put it, bad juju. In the spring of 2002, we spent six weeks in Turkey, three traveling by land and three on a crude charter. We saw Turkish eyes when we were traveling by land but they were just everywhere on the boats we saw. There must have been 20 or more on the 50-foot boat we were on. It was during that trip that we decided to get a cruising boat and cruise full-time. And so we brought a Turkish evil eye to put on whatever boat we would get. The first thing we did to make Ketal ours was to put the eye on the tip of the bowsprit. During the years we owned Ketal, We were within 50 miles of the eye of a hurricane five different times. Our only damage? A couple of popped fenders and a bit of damage to our rub rail. And heck, that's what a rub rail is for, right? Two other times, we were anchored near other boats that went on the rocks in weather that popped up overnight. Yet we were fine. Coincidence or the power of the eye? Sailors are known to be just a tad superstitious and we weren't about to take any chances. Barefoot Gal now has three eyes, bow of each hull, and one watching over our drive leg. They're known to be a little cantankerous on Geminis. Recently, we added some to the keys, the ignition keys for the engine after we had some engine problems. Admittedly, there are no substitute for maintenance and prudent seamanship, but we'll take all the help we can get to keep the bad juju away. More recently, our boat made it through Hurricane Irma when a number of others in our mooring field didn't. I'm not really going to say it's the Turkish eyes, but heck, I'll take all the help I can get. Want to get your own Turkish eye? I'm often asked where we got ours, and the answer is Amazon. They were the first thing that I bought for a barefoot gal after we bought her. I've put a link to them in the show notes and on my website, theboatgalley.com. I hope they protect your boat as well as they have ours. Thanks for listening. If you like the show, please be sure to subscribe in your podcast app. Just search for The Boat Galley Podcast. And reviews are always appreciated. Until next time, then. Slow down, slow down.